I suppose if the law would have been that XL bullies were banned, Joanne would have never had. No, 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 she wouldn't have. She wouldn't have had one. I think at that point, at that time, it, during lockdown, everybody were going for them. She did nothing wrong. She tried her best with them, but obviously, two together's just not right. She had to split them, keep them in separate rooms. At all times, they could never be put together. And the only being one, Joe, would be in her, but unfortunately, there were two. What she's had, they looked after properly. It's not them that's, it's the bad breeders, the bad owners, and our Joe was definitely not a bad owner. It locked down because we were thinking about, well, maybe breeding with Joe's dog, Rocco, but it didn't arise because Rocco and Lola, they didn't get on. I appreciate that laws come in, but I'll do what I need to do for my dog, which was bought as an American Bully XL, but we found out that she's just an American Bully, but she will be muzzled and she'll have that license like anybody would do who's responsible owners. I was attacked by two ex bullet dog types when I was taking Lucky for a walk. I can't say I hate the dogs because I don't. I hate the people that let them get like this because it's not fair. The dogs have done no harm, but they're brought up into such a way that they're, they're not to, they're aggressive. Luckily, Lucky's all right now, and I am. I'm just a bit shook up now. I've, I've had enough of it, so we just want to go and wear lives and look after each other. We do have a problem around here with the large bully breeds, letting them off with no leads, no muzzles. So I take them now to walk in the opposite direction. But I think really there should be a law to make sure that they are the lead constantly. We did have her down the street a few weeks ago and the two large dogs came running across the road to her and we had to stand with her behind us to make sure that, you know, and that could have been a child that lives on the schools next to us and uh, I think it should be stopped. Loads and loads of different breeds. Uh, for one, there were Cane Corso, there were Bull Mastiff. The class is Bully XLs and they're not all Bully XLs. These loads of different things in them. I Joe want to guess that Rocco would have been all these different dogs had she known she wouldn't have got him. But she didn't know. She just thought, oh well, we've dealt with big dogs before, we've had uh, two staffies before and had no problems, two male at that. We do feel that part of the problem or a major part of the problem is the source. Irresponsible breeding that has gone on has produced breeders that are doing it purely for a money basis. They don't care where, who owns their dogs, who has their dogs. They are a large breed. They do need training. They do need to be respected as animals. Their size needs to be respected. The owners, the young lads, they never took any notice. They just shouted them to come back across the road. They didn't come past and get them on the lead or anything. But I think most of the time it's bad owners, not bad dogs. As long as they're muzzled and on the lead, I haven't got a problem with it. Well, you could tell them a mile off, actually. And you know they're not good. I think they're macho men. <laughs> At some point we saw XLs coming on, all the XLs coming on, and obviously my dog's not, well, the drip to pieces. So we, I took the sedge down because I was scared that one would get older of my dog and do what they did to our jaw. 
The situation at the moment, it's a very grey area. There's still not enough information of what is going to happen, how things are going to be policed, how is this going to be the right move. It's certainly not the right move for the breed.